Describe the color to me. Oh, uh, I can tell you I need to drink more. That's what yes, I need Yes, you do. To I've been telling you to hydrate. How are you grabbing my <laughs> You just grabbed my <laughs> I hope you know that. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like that really just brought us closer in a way I never wanted us to be. You got a big <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> so I know one thing you can't name your <laughs> Sheila. What's that? Waldo. Because it's easy to find. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Zach here. Uh, Jared, we're doing a little dating show for him on the podcast. It's going to be very low-key and fun. We put a dating forum in the description. So if you're a girl and you think you want to date Jared on like the speed dating thing we're going to have on the podcast all over Zoom, let us know. Unless you're in the LA area, we bring him in. I don't know. But um, fill out the file. Now, on to the show. What's up, guys? And welcome to episode 131 of Dropouts. A lot of, a lot of you might be thinking, oh, what a backdrop you guys have. This isn't the new set, all right? Mm -mm, this not is even close. This is, well, it could, it's probably okay, decently it's a, close. Okay, it's a little bit close, but we're not going to be sitting in the center of the room like this, and we're not going to be all sitting around the table. I realized you're really um, disrespectful towards women. What are you talking about? So Jared had a girl over, um, clapping cheeks, as the kids say, I hear, and I hear him doing a little pillow talk, and... And she was like, oh, uh, how was that for you? And this is what Jared said to the girl. You, you said, well, when it smells like that, it sure isn't hard to find Nemo, which I thought was a little heinous. It's been one week since you looked at me. Hey, can you hit some <laughs> intro music? It's been 131 dude, episodes. Dude, 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 dude. We're doing intro music, right? There we go. It's been 131 episodes, and I think our listeners now, by now know that you're such... You're the you're one. No, that you're the one with the Nemo obsession. What is it about women that Actually, you don't no, like? Wait, hold on. There's that one. Video there's that one of me trying to find Nemo. All right, let's cut to a clip. No, but you're and the one do, always. You don't have an argument anymore, right? And then you're the. But you're the one always bringing it up. What is it about women that you don't like? Okay, well, first of all, let me say that never happened. Okay, I've been home for two days now. Three. Does days. Doesn't matter how many. Okay. I didn't have anybody. You, you over. hopped on an app. No. Had a little shouty come over. No, you loved the bomber. Me, we saw how my dating experience on the apps has gone in the last episode. I thought it's going been. I thought it's been going pretty well. No. You know what? The the girl that unmatched me. Mm -hmm. Not a glitch. Nope, never showed up. Never, never came back. What do you think it is about your overall persona that she hated? You know, I don't, I don't know. I really think she hated my music. I'm gonna be completely honest. Well, yeah, but everybody hates your music, so it's like she could have. Yeah, but I feel like because before this, you you were you were saying yeah, what you were saying something about women. I wasn't saying anything. I was saying the, you said, they're oh, all beautiful oh, this and was, amazing. And no, it was right should, after that. You said men they, should respect them. Men, you said men are better in every way, and no. then we should take back their. I heard that coming from your room. Actually, I think you're getting your. I have a soundproof room. Um, <laughs> you said you. I wish. I wish. This is what you said. If I saw a shooting star, I would wish that women couldn't vote anymore, so they have something to fight for again, because that's when they're the most spicy. And I thought that was a little, you know, odd. The fact that that just came from your brain is kind of horrifying. It's horrifying that I, I, I'm the messenger, so don't shoot me. I don't Especially think, with these guns, that's even working out, huh? I haven't worked out in like two weeks. Okay, how do you I'm very feel? Self-conscious about it. Why do you? Why do you think? Um, Working out is gonna get you. Is are you doing it for the opposite sex so they're more attracted to you, or are you doing it more for yourself? What's going on no, there? I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it because like I a lot of people actually ask me. They're, they're a lot of people. How many? Like a a decent amount. Okay, you know I don't know. I get DMs uh, about like people that are also wanting to lose weight, and they go, "How would you do it?" Or like, "What made you get to that point?" And um, the secret is you just hate what you see in the mirror. And then that that's really good motivation. And so Do you look different in a mirror? Because you look delicious right now. Dude, you're <laughs> what? I don't, that's you can't compliment a friend? You spent the first five minutes of this podcast tearing me down and saying I said awful things about women. Yeah, so I and figured then, you like men. That's why I came on to you as a friend. I'm not even sexually attracted to you, but to th to think that I would come on to you and pretend my sexual orientation just that's probably problematic, just so you could Experience love for the first time says a lot about friendship. I love the bit break. That's probably problem problematic. Mary F. Kill. Italian food, Mexican food, and Chinese food. Oh, that's tough. Well, say it. I think I'm going to, I'm going to marry Italian food. Because the people that make it look the least no. minority and you're a little racist no. and you didn't want to take someone that's not white home to mom. Is that it? Where the fuck did you pull Is that, that it? from? No, that's not Because I it. think you should go to church and get on your knees and pray. I think Italian food just 
over a, a long period of time is more sustainable for my stomach, you know? Oh. What? And my gastrointestinal health. Okay. What? So oppressed oppress people's food makes you feel icky. No, I'm just saying, okay, wait, actually, you know what? This is funny. <laughs> well, it's not going to be took, funny if it's racist. So It's not racist. I took, uh, so one of my Christmas gifts I asked from my mom was a 23andMe test because I, uh, I only know about one half of my family. <gasps> what if, okay, okay, side note, we create a buddy cop film with Michael Jordan, same title. <laughs> what? 23andMe. Oh, yeah. hold on. That's genius. Do you think he'd do it? No. Okay, go on. Oh, I was really hoping. Oh, you got your genealogy back? Yeah, I got my genealogy back. Is right? it just 100% white? <laughs> Handsome. Did you smell him? What? <laughs> did he fart? He did think. <laughs> that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that is, is one so of the. Foul. That is the one of the most vile. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Unbothered. <laughs> man. Oh, Dude. man. That makes my eyes water. <laughs> Died. Um, if you guys him. don't have an English bulldog, imagine taking broccoli and eggs, throw it in a blender, <laughs> throw it in the street, finding it two weeks later, throwing it in your dog and having them just gas it out. And then you're just in a vacuum of it. Um, go ahead. Okay. So I only know about one half of my family. And of that one half, I, I knew that my grandfather was Irish and my grandmother's family is German, right? That's all I knew. Oh, I don't know about my, my dad's side. What was their stance in the war? So I was curious. They the got here one. before the war. So everyone says that, but no, it's true. They got here uh, just after World War One. And you, so, okay, what? I'm just saying you look, let me get through this. No, I'm just saying you, you look, call me a Nazi. Okay. All I was going to say is you, you look like you always go for like high fives and leave your hand up a little too long. Oh, shut up. I am 98, 99.8% European, okay? okay? I'm sure we could have all guessed that. Um, <laughs> I, 90, not, or 49% of it comes from British. I've never- You don't have an accent. I never I would have never guessed. <laughs> I never thought that I, I would have any British in me. The other 20, another 24% is Scandinavian. Mm. So I'm just getting white as they come. What percentage um, of that do you have Zach Justice? What does that mean? I mean, if there's none, I could put some in you. <laughs> You're disgusting. Okay, dude. That's I don't foul. think you understand. Um, okay. 9% was French and German. I do have 0.1% trace ancestry of Peninsular Arab. Oh. Yeah. I found out. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. I have... 80% more Neanderthal DNA than, or wait, no, I have more Neanderthal DNA than 80% of other customers. Yeah, the math is there. Um, I told you, you drool a little too much. <laughs> and you drag your hands like across. <laughs> I always thought that was weird. I guess that's a Neanderthal in you. Which that being said, I only have less than 2% of Neanderthal DNA, but that's more than 80% of people. How did that make you feel? Take this test. Not good. So you're step below in evolution, kind of. A little bit, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I had seven wisdom teeth. Did you know that? Is that, is that a telltale sign of Neanderthals? No, but isn't that the thing where if you have no wisdom teeth, you're kind of like a more evolved? Well, you have, well, I figured you'd have more wisdom. So you think you have less wisdom. Ironic. Yes. I'm following. Did you ever you. do the Mary F. Kill the Italian? Oh, well, no. You started calling me uh, like some bigot or whatever. Um I, just, I think I meant to say bidet and I stuttered. <laughs> uh, no, I just said, I said I would marry Italian food because I think o over a long period of time that that would be the best for me. I, I do love Chinese and Mexican food though. Um, and people. But I like, and of course people, uh, but I like, I like spicy things. I guess they're both pretty spicy, but like I love jalapenos <laughs> and those are a staple of Mexican food. <laughs> what? It's funny, huh? What? I don't know. Just you, like, I, sometimes I just like to watch you experience life. <laughs> what does that mean? And just like, like your Neanderthal brain just running through senses <laughs> is just. Fuck. I knew I shouldn't have told you <laughs> it's just about fun. the stupid No, 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 because no, my DNA. whole, like, my whole life I was like, or the whole time I met you, I was like, oh, I should, I like want to hold his hand when he crosses the street. <laughs> like, I feel like he's going to have a tough time doing it. And now I know, like, medically, 
<laughs> medically, <laughs> genetically, genetically, <laughs> there's a you, you should not be left alone. And should you be wearing a helmet to bed? Probably. And <laughs> oh no. Do you want to continue? Um, oh, I found out uh, genetically. I do have restless leg syndrome. Well, technically, I can't diagnose it, but I am pre like genetically predisposed for it. Um, and then, uh, oh, for every mother fucker out there hold on let me find that's calling me a goddamn ginger okay for everyone calling me a fucking ginger okay 99 percent not uh, 99 percent chance i don't have red hair well that's funny that you beat the odds <laughs> i don't have red hair look at you it's Top. brown bobby lee said you had red hair well bobby lee also yeah, go ahead i don't know what i was gonna say probably a slur I w no never said a slur well, never <laughs> Oh, okay. No. Look in this camera and then don't laugh. Okay. Uh -huh. If you've never said it, said a slur in your life, look in this, look down the barrel. Just don't laugh for four seconds. Okay. I'm going to count to four. And if you don't laugh for four seconds or show your teeth or smile, I'm going to believe that you've never said a slur. Ready? There was hey, one buddy. time Ready? I asked my mom. Okay. I heard the D word for lesbians. What is it? And I'm not going to say it. Oh, you're just screaming it for the podcast. Right? I wasn't screaming. You're different before. online than you no, are. No, I asked my mom. I said, what does this word mean and then she yeah. said that's a really bad word that people used to call your mom a lot and that was a really that was a really did you ever call your mom that growth. like a heated argument why would i ever call my mom that i'm asking that no i've never called my mom that does she prefer lesbian i guess yeah so i should address her as like lesbian jared's mom <laughs> you can just say jared's mom or i was thinking that it sounded that flows way better jared's mom yeah yeah, it does. You should really stick with that. Okay, I will. Um, I was hoping, I guess I, I have to do, I know there's a national sibling like registry database or whatever. I was hoping this would like connect me a little easier with people that have also taken this test that I'm genetically related to. I did find, get your hands off of me. I did find um, a few DNA relatives, which is kind of cool. It found uh, th four half siblings of mine. From your dad? Yeah. The, um, you if got I, bubbles and sissies. I got bubbles and sissies. So if anyone knows a Grace Gebhardt uh, that's most likely from around the Ohio area and has uh, a donor dad. Right above Kentucky, right? Right above Kentucky. Um, possibly my half-sister. Uh, Olivia Adams Fisher. Hey, hey, hey. But if you, sl if you slide in those DMs, half not your sister, baby boy. Half not your sister, that's, and that's a no, silver lining. That's mm -hmm. that's a silver lining. We're not going to cross. You got that familiarity. You know? mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You're mm. like, oh, that butt feels like mine. No, yeah. Uh, uh, Riley Click, also a half sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Well, what? Alyssa's laughing because it sounds like. Um, was you laughing because it sounds like Riley Clit? There it is. <laughs> so she's yeah, she's got a fourth grader sense of humor. And uh, Noah Cat K A T T. Mm. If anybody knows them, those are. For my half siblings that 23 and me found. Nothing on my dad though, which I was kind of bummed about. I thought you could just ask for his information. I can. It's just why don't why don't you do that and then we can review it on the podcast? Like, oh, this is a, your dad. It's just a process. I can present you know? it to you. Would you like to if I flew him out, had him on the podcast, you guys can have a one on one of like getting to know his life? Or would that be like an existential thing? The thing is, okay, so this goes into like a question that a lot of people ask me. They're like, do you ever want to meet your dad? And it's you like, I don't know a lot of people. So I don't know who keeps asking these questions because <laughs> I've never asked you. So the thing with that is that it's not like, you know, I had, it's not like I had a dad that like walked out that I was missing out on. You know, it's like, I've never known what it's like to have a dad. So I'm not really missing that feeling. So like, I think it would be interesting to get to know him, but he's probably just a regular guy. You know, I, everybody has an interesting story. 50 bucks in the nineties. Isn't that crazy? No, I'm just, I'm a just bit. a college kids like food plan that they paid for. Do you know the reason the girls go into the bathroom together? I was always told it's so that they could like gossip and talk about whatever's happening. No. Okay. I saw What's a tweet about it. Oh, you did. What's so, the reasoning? Uh, Hermione went in alone once and she got attacked by a troll. So now it's like, <laughs> Now it's the <laughs> it's kind of the buddy system for life. Is that right, Alyssa? You're scared of trolls. So you're you're saying that could we improv really quick? Let's say we're two sluts on the town. Whatever it is, that's what we call each other. We're not actually sluts. We're just sluts girlies on the town. Like if we look good, you're like, oh, he looks so slutty, so beautiful. Like that's the way we talk to each other. We're endearing. Guys call us a slut. Mm -mm, not my girl. 
Like you don't say that to my girlfriend, you know? We're not dating. Okay, we're, yeah, we're, I got that okay. much. Okay, so we're we're at the bar. I'm gonna ask you to come to like we're on a date. I'm like ask you to come to the bathroom with me, and we'll just pretend like we know what girls are gonna talk about in the bathroom. Okay. Oof, oof, I need to queef. Um, <laughs> Jay, um, Sheila, do you mind coming? Do you mind? Do you mind coming with me to the bathroom? I need to go to the bathroom. I need to use a little. Okay. I need to use a little girl. <laughs> girls trip. Girls trip. Will girls excuse trip us. The, girls trip to the bathroom. Will you excuse <laughs> us. Tina, stop it. That's mine. My name's Tina. That was the first name I thought of. Okay. My name's Stephanie. Wait, that's not what I called you, isn't it? What? What did I? Call? Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not to listen. T- Tina Sheila. and Sheila. Best friends. Let's go to the bathroom. Okay. Jump cut to the bathroom. Okay. Wait, Do where they, are we again? Are we at a bar? The, are we? The, no, we're at the bathroom. No, I mean like a bar bathroom or where are we? I think we're at a TGI Fridays. I didn't listen. <laughs> I was. You said improv. I started panicking. I think we're at a TGI. And... I think we're at a TGI Fridays. <laughs> okay. 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 Like this is a double date. They invited us out, and we're both like. Okay. Gotcha. Do girls actually use the bathroom when they're in the bathroom? Okay, so okay. Should, are we, we gotta sometimes on that right, question? You use the bathroom and I'll be doing my makeup. Okay, so um get get, get, <laughs> your, get those panties off. And yeah, take your panties off. Uh-huh. Did you discharge? Uh, I've got a discharge cleaning kit. No, it's pretty clean right now. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah. I yeah. threw in six tampons today because it was a heavy flow. Oh my I'm a pro God. ultra girl. What are you? Six? Yeah. Wow. I'm like a pro ultra plus. I usually have to go eight. I know. That's my hoe. Uh, well, so what do you man. think about Jerry? I am peeing like a race horse. <laughs> Is it? Look down and let me see the color or tell me, describe the color to me. Oh, uh, I can tell you I need to drink more. That's what yes, I need Yes, you do. I've been telling you to hydrate. How are you grabbing my th- <laughs> You just grabbed my dick. <laughs> I hope you know that. <laughs> Sheila, are you a guy? <laughs> Sheila, are you a guy? What'd you just say? Um, you really you really went for the cooch there, huh? I don't know how you got through the stall. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like that really just brought us closer in a way I never wanted us to be. Um, <laughs> you got a big clit, Sheila. <laughs> The thing be hanging. I think you have a couple growths attached to it too. I know so. I know one thing you can't name your clit, Sheila. What's that? Waldo, because it's easy to find. <laughs> it felt like an Audi belly button. <laughs> How do you? What do you think about your date so far? You know he's sweet. He's he's really sweet. But, but you there? I hear a butt coming. Do I hear a butt coming, there sister? There's a butt coming. There is a Brazilian <laughs> butt lift coming. He's just so boring. So boring. We should leave. We should sneak we out. We should sneak out. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we get home. Uh-huh. You and I get my bed. Sheila, why did your voice get deeper? We play. Uh, what? Sheila, what's going rock, on? Rock, paper, scissors. Sheila. And I'm not no, talking rock and paper. Lips. Sheila, you want to play only scissors? <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, stop looking at me like that. Don't you go wow, wow. <laughs> Sheila, I think I'm going to just call an Uber. All I'm right. not feeling not, so Don't hot. slip your clit in <laughs> into me, all right? In scene. <laughs> How'd that feel as far as like what girls do in the bathroom? Zach, you you, you, you assaulted me. <laughs> I was in character. You groped me. Yeah, but when you're in a scene, you can you can do whatever. I, but we got to talk to like a counseling coach or whatever they have on sets. Do you want to pretend you're an HR person and you're sitting Zach down to talk about what just happened? <laughs> like bring me into the office. Okay, so bit part two. Yeah. Hey, come in. Hey, hey man. Hey, hey Zach. How you doing? Good, 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 good. You wanted to uh, um Yeah, I just want to talk to you. Is this over the like the quarterly reports or No, 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 no. no. That's uh that'll come a little bit later. Um actually, I wanted to talk to you. Uh one of your coworkers filed a, a complaint against what? you. Um and Wait, who? It? No, I I'm not going to disclose that right away. I, is it because um, I stole but, Linda's stapler, dude? Uh, no. I had to staple files bad. together. Okay. I, I left mine at home next to my bed stand because that's my anxiety stapler and okay. I needed to sleep. I, and listen, I understand that, but um, that's not what we're talking Come about. Come on, that's, Linda! That, we're not talking about that. Um, oh. It's actually something much worse. No. Yeah. Um, someone filed a uh, assault. Assault? Complaint against you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know it's hard to hear. Tell me there wasn't pepper so, too. Did you just make a salt and pepper joke? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would lighten the mood. Now is not the time to lighten the mood. I'm just going to let you know that What, now. Did, what did they say I did? 
Um, and who said, said it? They said you groped them. The, uh, uh, you started, no. You started at their their breast area. And I, remember, I did start there, yes. squeezed. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about then. But it was you a guy. The, yes, but you can still grope men as well. Not on the breast. Those aren't sexual objects on guys, and they don't produce milk. Well, you're not- Checkmate. You're, you're not supposed to touch your coworkers. You know, that's kind of- I wanted to. Uh, but- they didn't want you to, and you kind of need consent. That's, that's okay. the whole point of, you know, uh, just, hey, 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 just like that. You're not supposed to do that. Why? That's that's a no. Top half's free game that's, on the male species. It's not. It's not though. Why? It's because nobody likes to be touched when they don't want to. Can you lactate? <laughs> that can you lactate? Answer the question. That answer the question. Can you lactate? Okay. No, I can't lactate. Case closed. <laughs> no. So no, because lactating is not the only reason you can't touch somebody. You can or can't touch. Name somebody. eighteen other reasons. Okay. Well, that's a kind of a ridiculous number. But oh, you think sexual assault is, oh. is ridiculous? <laughs> oh, oh. So you're gonna try to turn this on me? I'm not gonna try to turn this on you. It just seems like I'm gonna advance on you. No. <laughs> okay, we're not doing the fucking Santa <laughs> bit again. Two weeks. Tell in me a row. what I okay. I touched the top anyway, half. You touched the what top do I, half uh, and then you moved down to the bottom, squeezing I, along the way, and then you squeezed the genitalia. I don't remember area. that part. Well, he does remember. Um, and he's lodged a formal complaint against and what you. Is, and okay, what happens now? You are at risk of being fired, okay, and even charged with a felony assault. Hey, you gonna say anything? That that's it. Security. Little do you know, I'm security at the <laughs> office depot. <laughs> um, and scene. Okay, right. Right. when I was trying to punch you, I hit my hand and it hurt. So <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you should no, be. No, 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 What's no, handsome no. doing? Oh, he's chewing on the wire. Bad dog. It's okay. You're not a bad dog. You just don't know any better. One, I want to apologize to you. Thank you. For touching right below your fupa. <laughs> You're an asshole. What, dude? <laughs> okay, I got a little. No, you don't. That's, uh, <laughs> he's actually been very trim recently. I remember he took his shirt off and whoever was around said, you looked good with, with your shirt off. It was Heath, actually. Exactly. Which made me feel good. And, he's, and he, his, knows, he knows his, his way around the body. His transformation was very inspirational for me. <laughs> anyway. So, so wait, can, How was your holiday, Zach? Holy hell, dude. What? It's past. So we okay. can talk about so it. So we're... So we're too grown. Talk about mine. We're I had too a hell of an experience. Okay, talk about yours. Well, my holiday was good. I went home. I went home the twenty second through, or the sixteenth through the twenty second. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, "Why didn't you stay home for Christmas?" And it's because it's because he likes to invade my Christmas every no, single year. Every we single do this year. Every year. It was one year so far. Okay, well now two. So far. actually, it was. I, I'm not even going to count this year. Okay, you were here we'll, for Christmas. Yeah, but we'll get to that. Flights were. We already spent six hundred on the flight home. Flights were an extra eight hundred dollars to come home between Testing. <laughs> between uh, Christmas and New Year's. So that's why I went home early. Anyway, so I'm leaving the night of the twenty second. Now, for most of the country, they'll know that is what the, tree. The country. Yeah, dude. This is not a cussing podcast, but I'll let you continue. <laughs> hate you that was the night that winter storm elliot i think it's elliot started okay the least hard name for winter storm but keep going <laughs> i know my flight was at 9 p.m okay right before are you doing sound effects yeah like, I'm like right right before uh the winter storm was about to hit officially 24 and a half hours at that airport right What'd you do? Finally, Did we take, cover it all. <laughs> finally, take off. Four hour flight to Vegas. Stop. You went for my dick. <laughs> Again, yeah. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Say something to anyone. Alyssa, help me. Exactly. She doesn't care. She'll come over here and touch you too. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Trust me, there's nothing ghosting about me I want. So I land in Vegas and I'm like, perfect. I can still make my connecting flight. Um, and then I get a notification from Southwest canceled. <laughs> and so then I'm thinking I'm going to be stranded at this airport. And then uh, you call me. I call you. And now Zach, the story just got interesting, didn't it? Huh? <laughs> now Zach's in the mix. Bah, bah, bah. I call Zach. Bah, bah, bah. 
And he goes, he's like, oh, dude, that sucks. My mom is coming. Was that the accent I had? Yeah. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. Yeah. Come on, man. My mom is actually driving to LA tomorrow morning. You should just hitch a ride with her. And I said, oh, that's perfect. Miss Gina picks me up. Four-hour drive back to LA. And total time to get home is 34 hours. How long was the story, though? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry you went through that, man. And then after all of that... (laughs) <laughs> what happened? They take you back to the airport, do it all again. I was sick on Christmas. That was actually one of the, my, the nicer things that happened for my Christmas. You're right. No, no, no. I was sad. I knew you were up there wishing you were experiencing a holly and jolliness. I was dying. My body was aching. I couldn't breathe. And I had migraines worse than I've ever felt. And my, I actually think that was my first migraine. I had really good um, mashed potatoes, <laughs> which was great. Gravy was fantastic. <laughs> So, I don't know. I like to look on the the bright side of things, unlike you. I hurt so bad (laughs) that I couldn't sleep. And at 2 a.m., I ran a a hot bath, and I sat in the bath for the entirety of the movie Gone Girl. Did you watch it? Yeah. Was it good? It was fantastic It is a good movie. Speaking of movies, what did we just see? (laughs) Puss in Boots. Yeah. The Last Wish. Hell yeah, brother. So, Zach comes to me, and he goes, do you want to see a movie tonight? I figured that was a little bit. I don't know. I said it probably a little sexier, but Zach comes to me. He says, do you want to see a movie tonight? And Zach is, um, he's a, he's a cinephile, right? He, he knows good movies. He appreciates good movies. Alyssa's looking at something that scared me. No, I'm something that rhymes with that. Oh, we can't say that though. (laughs) Our friend told us we can't (laughs) talk about (laughs) anymore because we won't get any more. And there it is. Anyway. So he, he always likes critically acclaimed movies, you know? So I go, sure. What movie? I'm thinking he's going to say, avatar right because it just came out and uh people have been talking about how it's phenomenal or even babylon because that that just came out and he goes puss in boots well okay i have i have a guy on youtube that i like to watch when uh movies come out he's he's my review guy if he likes the movie i usually like the movie we have a we have a similar um connection when it comes to this i was going to try to do a bigger word but then i realized third grade level education is more interesting to talk um so he i i like the way he reviews and he's like i would, did not want to go see this movie um i have so many more movies i really want to see and then i had a, i had a free saturday i walked into the theater and it was one of the best movies i'd seen that year and i got hyped up i was like jared you remember uh you remember that green boy you know that green boy with with the suction cup ears <laughs> And he's like, he's like, yeah, I remember that. I was like, you remember that kitty from that? He's like, well, you, he's like, you talking about puss? <laughs> he's like, you talking about you talking about puss? <laughs> he's like, you talking about that that boy puss? I was like, yeah, like that little uh, what what nationality is he? He's Spanish, isn't he? Like Castilian Spanish. First of all, I've never heard that word in my entire life, and that is hot. <laughs> That's a sexy word. Um, anyway, it was a fantastic film. You guys should should go watch it. It's it catches you by surprise. It makes you laugh in such a ways where you're like, oh, wasn't expecting a chuckle in a kids' film. Remember, it was genuinely one of the funniest movies I've seen in such a long time. Like it, it was cracking up the entire theater, and it wasn't just kids in the theater. Like, and there weren't any eggs in the theater, so everybody was safe. I hate your stupid buns, but you don't like these thick buns. <laughs> Hey, hey. Anyway, and then it had one of the scariest villains that oh. we had ever seen Puss in, in a boots. children's movie. Um, I like to say it's slow. Um, Puss in boots. Uh, the villain in there is this wolf, and I won't, I won't spoil anything, but he's got these devilish red eyes that that don't blink. I thought it, I saw him blink once. I didn't oh, want to bring did. it up because uh, I thought it would ruin the magic, but... Um, I thought about it later at night where I was like, oh, wouldn't enjoy if he came into my room. (laughs) Like the type of red eyes where if you stare too hard into a dark corner when you're in your bed that night, you'd see them. Okay, so there's this trend going around, a little bit of a dead trend, but we're always late to everything, especially Jared's girls who he hooks up with periods. Right, buddy? Continue with whatever you're about to Um, say. We got to say each other's icks about each other. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like this game. Why? I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know your icks about me. Why? Because I'm too self conscious about oh this, my, dude. It being with you is like being with a girlfriend with no sexual benefits. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that? I've got a. 
I've got to respect your emotions all the time. I can't. Why even... does everything have to be a bit? Why can't we just talk about our lives? I'm. I apologize for making you feel insecure. No. Well, what do you no, want to talk about? I. I. Okay. Well, this is where I'm. I'm getting this from. Um, okay. Obviously, I know the trend. Um, no, I saw this video of this guy. He's like, whenever I meet new people, I like to ask them four moral questions, right? Okay, ask me. That are like fun little icebreakers. Are they speed rounds? Kind of. Okay. Okay, I, I guess this isn't technically the order, but the first one that's in relation to the ick thing and why I don't li- like it, um, he's like, if you had a book okay. that had every mean thing anyone's ever said about you, mm-hmm. would you want to read it or burn it immediately? Burn it. Okay. And now the interesting part about that was, uh, he's like, both answers tell me like one of two things, depending on like the reasoning for it. Right. So what's your, why would you want to burn it? Because I don't really care about other people's opinions. So you and I have the same answer. We'd both burn it. Right. Yeah. But you don't care about others' opinions because you're sure about yourself. Right. I don't want to read it because I care too much about other people's opinions and I'm very insecure. So I should say better opinions about you. No, no, no. That's not like a fishing for compliments thing, right? Oh, you, you have a nice shirt on. I do have a nice shirt on. And you too can have this nice shirt at shopdropouts.com. Not what I was going for, dude. Disgusting. I didn't even know this was ours. <laughs> where can you get it? I hate that you said it. I Sorry, sorry. Where? I didn't mean to say that you could get it at shopdropouts.com. God. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, um, but he, he, he was explaining that both answers, right? Whether you want to read it or not, have two tell, tell them two things, right? You, the person is either super secure about themselves or they're super insecure. And so, if somebody wants to read, I it, prefer the word arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> so, if somebody say somebody wants to read it, it's either because they're so sure of themselves that the opinions won't like affect them, or the person's so insecure about themselves that that they want to read it so that they can fix themselves. You know? So we're opposites. We're, we're opposites the with the same answer. Um, the next question. All right. Just hold the mic at your mouth. Well, I want to be able to hear you. All so, right, ask me okay, the next one. The the next question, which is technically the first one, um, you meet your celebrity crush at at a bar, right? You you're just you're hanging out, you're at the bar, they walk in, they sit next to you, you guys start talking, hey, you're hitting up? them up. Hitting them up. What's up? Uh, yeah. everything, everything's going yeah. amazing. And they say, Hey, I actually live down the street. Do you want to come over? Okay. And you say yes. And you start making your way out of the bar and in walks in a family member, like an aunt or an uncle or something. And they go, Oh my God, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you just ran into your first cousin, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now, with that being said, do you still go home with them? There's also an added caveat. Nobody, there's no risk of getting pregnant, so you don't have to worry about any birth defects or anything. Um, <laughs> and nobody will know that... She won't even know? Well, so you both know, but they, they're, they're still down. into it. They said, do you still want to come over? So only you and the I've, other person I'm, will know. I'm good, yeah. Oh, so you're still going for it? Yeah, of course. Really? Uh, no risk in pregnancy, no risk in whatever STD, right? Uh, no risk of like public humiliation or like a kid people that knowing that you slept with your first take third grade twice. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're still going, you're still sleeping with your first cousin. Yeah. Why? Why not? Cause it's like a blood family member. Yeah. But you said that we're not getting each other pregnant. I know, but you're still sleeping with a family member. Am I not supposed to? Dude, no, I know it's you're, Rihanna. I know we you're enough. We look enough different where it's going to be okay. <laughs> like, I know you're, you spent a lot of time in Georgia, but come on dog. You're sleeping with a family. member. So if Haley Steinfeld, if Haley Steinfeld was your first cousin, listen, I thought so long and hard about that. Okay. And what'd you say? I don't, think I could like live. You don't have a bad knowing. enough cousin <laughs> is what it is, dude. It is. And I don't either apparently because I've never hooked up with any of my cousins. Well, good. I'm glad in the real. Now that I thought in real life, I wouldn't hook up with my cousin. Well, but, but the, when, the if, when Rihanna is, is, is my cousin, we're probably going to hook up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like that should be the question to everyone is if, if Rihanna was your cousin, would you hook up with her? And it's like, yeah, that's so weird to me. Why? That's it's Rihanna. It's cousin. It's your family. It's my cousin Rihanna. <laughs> if it was my cousin Matt, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Matt. I don't want him to step on me like the double entendre. He is of his name. 
Well, she wasn't turned off. Yeah, but that's... What am I supposed to be like? Love, there's no risk of any of this. No one's ever going to know. But Never you gonna would know. Wait, yeah, I am going to know. Wouldn't that be weird to you? I'm going to whisper in her ear, keep the bloodline strong. <laughs> okay. Game of Thrones. Exactly. George R. R. Martin. Here's, here's the, the second or the third moral question, right? So a friend invites you over. Best friend or just regular friend? Like a really close friend, right? Okay. They invite you over for a dinner, dinner party. At their house um, or apartment? At their house. Okay. Wow, they're doing well. In and, LA? Uh, sure. They're okay. doing very well for themselves. What do they do? I don't know. Do they buy the real estate or are they renting? They bought it. Wow. None of these questions are important. To well, they are to me. Okay. So you go over for a dinner party. Did I bring anything? And Did they ask me to bring anything? They didn't ask you to bring anything. They're, I brought they're supplying the, the feast. Okay. I'm going to bring some cookies just to be nice. Okay. Sure. You can bring some cookies. Like those little sugar. Nice. Okay. I'm going to bring it out. Okay. I don't drink, so I'm not going to bring alcohol. That's fine. So <laughs> you, you go over and when they open the door, you notice- <laughs> That your friend. Oh, is, you need some WD-40 in these doors. You, you notice your friend is now missing one of their arms. You ask them what happened and they like, inform dude, you. Dude, what the hell happened to your arm? Yeah. They in- Whoa! What happened to your arm, dude? They inform you that they had it surgically removed. Okay. And that is actually going to be the main course of tonight's dinner party is that they are cooking up and serving their own human arm because they wanted their closest friends that's, to try. And that's punk rock. So everything's completely ethical. It was, you know, it was their decision. It was very cleanly uh, and surgically removed. Okay. And it, it's being prepared properly. Are, is Everybody's this going to with Am I a cannibal? Yeah. No. Are you going to eat it? No. Or are you going to leave? I was, I'll stay and watch people eat an arm, of course, but I, also, I don't want to eat it. Why don't you want to eat it? Because I, I just don't want to eat my buddy's arm. I know what he does with that arm. You'll have sex with your cousin profusely and, and not <laughs> and not eat your friend's arm. Almost routinely. I'll put it on why a Google wanna... calendar if we can. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you why don't you want to eat your friend's arm? So it, is it your arm? It doesn't have to it can be anybody that you're thinking about. I'm thinking is of your there, arm. Is there somebody's arm that you would eat? Which arm would you cut off? Probably my left one. And that's the one I'm you jack off with, so I'm not gonna eat that arm. Yeah, but I, my bicep's not affected by jacking off. I just don't want to eat your jack off arm. Alyssa cut off her arm. She can cut off a lot of other things. I need it. Ha ha! What's up, girl? <laughs> the things that I've said, dude. Okay, if you don't know, Alyssa just said her mom watches these. Is just you, really? I'm trying to get her to like me, Alyssa. No, she doesn't. She does. She know that this is all a bit, and I'm actually a very good person. She that makes me say so that mad. Very convincingly. No, she doesn't say that because people watch this podcast and look. Oh, Zach is arrogant. Oh, Zach wants to have sex with his cousin. Oh, <laughs> Zach is uh, obnoxious. Oh, Zach is all this, dude. I'm trying to be entertaining for the listeners. What am I like in real life? Tell them. Tell them what I'm like in real life. <laughs> I said this. I said this earlier this morning. I said being around you is like being with a toddler that is too handsy. <laughs> it's the perfect description. Okay, but I'm a, I'm more low key. <laughs> when you want to be, sometimes you I've can been be obnoxious high this key. podcast, and now I feel bad because her mom's gonna watch it. Okay, last question. Do you think I'm being too much on these? Uh, I think that, that, that'll be probably a lot of the comments these, this week is I'm being a little too much. Because like when you say something, I might interject a joke when they're like, dude, just guys have a normal conversation. Do you think that's been a problem with me? Something I can work on? Sometimes. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, last question. All right. Mic work? You can live in any reality. Mm, don't you unplug that. You can live in any any reality that this you one. want. I choose this one. Okay. But you can live any. I'm any- going to do this one. Okay. I know you my can, mom in this one. You can still. I'm going to choose this one. Can, and I have my brother in this one. I like it. No, I mean like all of your friends and family and everything go with you. Oh, into I'll take the them. Different <laughs> Realities. Okay, if you choose a different Where reality, are we going? You can go to like Hogwarts or the Marvel Universe or the Game of Thrones Universe or whatever, right? But everybody you know and love comes with you. Okay. okay? Your life is the same ah. and then it's just moved into ah. that. But my life's over here and then it's over there. In order to do that, one person, I don't want to do it. You have no oh, idea. I just don't want to. Yeah, I'm good. And they don't get to go into that universe. That's fine. I don't want. Yeah, I don't know. It's not someone you know. I should like. That's fine. Oh, okay. I thought I th- I'd almost prefer I it to be someone I... I did know, so I could be like, yeah, that per- that person deserves to die. It'd be you. 
No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't randomly kill someone to go hang out with Harry Potter and watch him miss plot holes for eight movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> like the amount of magic things that he could do was wild that they just didn't take advantage of ever again. It is kind of they fun. can go back in time <laughs> and they never use it again. <laughs> Does that not make anyone else and mad? That was, that was so early in the in the series. And they can also change and look at, like anyone else for an extended period of Never time. Never use it again. <laughs> and they can travel. What is what is the the law on who can fly and who can't fly? Why can the Death Eaters fly like they're freaking Superman, but all of the heroes but are every like, time like this, an this Arabic person sweeper, they sweeper. get checked <laughs> extra. What? What? <laughs> anyway, what's I, up with that? <laughs> I don't know what you said. Is that what we're fighting about? <laughs> no. Okay, so you're not killing the person. All right. What would you? No, I wasn't. I wouldn't. Okay, kill then the why person. is he pressing me so much? No, I. I'm not pressing you. I was just curious what your answer was. Yeah, I don't like murdering people. Sorry. Okay. You want to go hang out with Blue's Clues? <laughs> <laughs> but this kid from Africa will be like <laughs> lost in a river and drown. <laughs> I said my life is good enough. I, I'm happy here without sacrifice. Your life is not good enough. So, well, it's getting there. I feel like it's on the right path. What I like these existential questions, though. These, I like these questions. Keep asking me them. Well, I said I only had four. All right, we'll make one up. Ask me something. I feel get like to know me. Let's pretend we're on a first date, and you actually have we've to. We've done this. So no, many no, no. Times. This isn't. This is you and me. Like no, you want to get no. to know me. I don't want to do a bit. This is not a bit, dude. It is a bit. Ask me a question. This is a of a bit. Well, then get to know me, man. I know you. Ask me. No, you, you don't so know me. Well, you don't know me. What are you talking about? You have no idea about me, and that's fascinating. I think I know you. Just I know you so well. I think I know you better than you know you, and I think you know 0.5 percent of me. Well, that's because you're guarded and you don't let anyone in. Okay. Oh, sorry. I spoke the truth. No, I'm not guarded. One. Yes, you are. Two. You didn't you didn't you talk to like a therapist? Who told you that they? First had of all, never this guy is dead. So watch your words. Oh, he's an acting teacher or coach or something like, right? Something like that. And he told you that he's never seen somebody with walls so high as yours or guarded no, or no, something. No, this is what he said. So, okay, so this guy for 25 years, he has been meeting with people and finding out the kind of like their persona so they can be better in business or acting or whatever. It's like, hey, who, what, what do you come off as to other people? And he said, I've been doing this for 25 years. And you're the most guarded person I've ever met in my entire life. Which I thought was like wild. <laughs> I was like, your entire life, he said. I mean, somebody has to be the most guarded person, mm. right? Do you get that from me? Hundred percent. That's why I just I feel said like I'm it. Pretty open. No. What? Anytime I ever ask you about something personal, you love to deflect, and it's not. Maybe I'm just not interested. Ask me something personal. Do you? Okay, Alyssa just brought this up. Do you have a secret hunch about how you'll die? Colon cancer. <laughs> what about you? Fuck, dude. Why do you think colon cancer? Uh, my grandma's um, mom or dad died of colon cancer, and it runs in my family. What about you? Like repeated cases of yeah, colon cancer? So. What did your mom's mom die of? Um, she died from smoking. She had oh. to have like her hands amputated off. And was that, like that was that lung cancer, or was that just deterioration from like the carcinogens? Some kind of yeah, some kind something like that. Oh, okay. What about yourself? Well, I kind of have like a hunch of like the last thing I'll see. Me? Before I die. <laughs> With a pillow you. going over your face? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've always. Isn't it crazy that I can only cover your mouth and kill you because you can't breathe out of your nose? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Hey, let's do a sniff I test. I don't like. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I'm recovering right now. Oh, she, I like how she's asking those questions. Keep going. I've always pictured the last thing I'll see. I'm staring up. I'm like in a field. Uh, staring up at like a blue sky under a tree <laughs> and it's on a it, it's on a Sunday I always get very existential on Sundays because I, I have so you're, like you're gonna be looming. looking up at a blue tree and you're gonna die no not a blue tree like a blue <laughs> sky under a tree a couple trees outside <laughs> is that what you want uh, that's not what how I'm, old do you think you'll be I'm hoping very old I've always said I, wanted, I always see myself at your funeral. Don't don't say that. What? Well, hopefully you that that means okay. My only goal age wise to get to. Do you think you're going to be at my funeral? That means I lost. My only goal <laughs> age wise is to get to the year twenty one hundred, which means I would be ninety or a hundred and two, I think, and then that way I would have lived in three centuries: the twentieth, the twenty first, and the twenty second. I think God's going to clear you out to bring up bring someone better in. Did they ever tell you in school 
that the first person to live to 150 has already been born. Yeah. Do you believe that? I thought they said, I thought they said 120. Oh, I was told 150. No, yeah, yeah. I think I think you got like five years left. What um, what's the next one? If you're able to live to the age of 90 and retain the the mind or body of a 30 year old, what would you take? And you said, I'm gonna go with body. Really, you're gonna go with body? Uh, actually, yeah. Because that, then I still got all that knowledge when I'm a 90 year old, right? My my grandma just fell and broke her wrist. That was a very scary thing. I don't like the thought of being like that frail. I want to see it. We should do a frail test, like an iPhone Dude, drop no, test of Jared. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Drop you at one. You, you, you know that that video of me busting my ass in the basement, but but keep going. <laughs> busting my butt in the in the basement. Okay, <laughs> when I threw the dart. Yeah, I legitimately Let's thought. Cut to a clip. Are you recording? <laughs> It's so wet. Uh, to a clip. I broke my elbow when mm-hmm. I did that. That, I think my grandma, if she fell that hard, would have just like exploded. And died. Unfortunately. Would that make you happy because you would no, get No, that money? would not make me happy. Just asking a question. What do you think you take for granted most in life? I think my 20s. Interesting. Why do you say that? I don't think I have as much fun as other people do. The The definition of fun is completely dependent on person to person. Like it's very subjective. It's kind of, I don't art. do many like young, dumb things, but do you want to do young, dumb things? Cause like whenever you go out and we'd go to like an event, I, or a I, party I, or something, that's more like that. I wish I enjoyed things that younger people normally enjoy. Like I wish I enjoyed drinking and like going out to a party and like letting yourself loose. I don't think you take it for granted though. What do I take for granted? Like in my entire life? I thought when you were saying, yeah, like most in life, I thought when you were saying your 20s, because the thing is, like I don't think you've like wasted your 20s at all, you know? I feel like you're doing a lot. I I feel like people at that age, I mean, granted we have a long life to accomplish a lot of of things and work, but... Uh, a lot of people don't do that because they're going out and they don't like chase after their dreams and goals and aspirations because they're going out and partying and stuff like that. But I wish I could laugh and actually feel something. Anyway, what about you? <laughs> um, I would like to feel joy. I would, would say be my sick. health. You take your health for granted. Yeah. What do you mean? Like how healthy you are right now? Um, like you should be doing more things. Like hiking? Yeah, well, just like be- honestly taking like even better care of myself and yeah, like going out and doing more things, at least just being thankful for like the health and body that I have. Okay, is that your New Year's resolution? Do you, um, have, do you, have, a New Year, do you have a New Year's resolution? <clears throat> yes. Do you want to save the New Year's resolution for the no. actual first episode in the new year? Nope. Uh, my New Year's resolution, um, uh, focus on music. I want to start putting out what? No, keep going. What? Just I feel like that's every New Year's resolution for you. I it thought is, I was and have some I groundbreaking Listen. information. Um, focus more on music, and what does that entail? Original songs, putting out you know the the covers. Like I started with "Hey There, Delilah," and then I also am can starting you can you have like I want to put out. My goal is to put out. There we go. Two hundred and sixty beats. Okay, like I want to start just like producing little more simplified beats that I could sell and start collaborating with other artists and stuff and being like more of you should a, get a calendar in your room, like a beat counter and then you exit off every time you make a beat. And I say 260 Cause I think that's the number if you subtract weekends from like 365. Um, so like Monday through Friday, does I this bring any nostalgia back to you? One beat. Disney three, six, five. See ya. No. Okay. What are your, I'm going to save mine for the first, the first episode on the first. We wrap it up. Yeah. Thank cool. you guys so much for listening and watching Dropouts Podcast. Uh, we have a clips page, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, where we you, do. You can see bite-sized little snippets of us. It's going to be the best of the best. The link in the description. Also, we have merch. This Get is- your hands off of me. Sell them. Okay. If you want to buy this. No, tell them to buy it. Buy this shirt. Or Zach- what? Give them like you'll like threaten an ultimatum. I'm not giving them. You know, I'm, I'm not, not threatening. Them. Why? Why? What does it matter? We get more money, and they don't get hurt. It's a win-win. Just threaten you down threaten the barrel. Them. Okay, I will literally murder your mother if you don't buy our merch. See how easy it is? 
Get their dad right here to this camera. I'm coming for your dad. And if your mom's already dead and you're like, oh, my mom's dead, I got you. <laughs> Whoever the most important person is to you in your life, absolutely Game of thrones them. <laughs> <laughs> Red wedding them. Um. <laughs> anyway, shopdropouts.com. You can yeah. get this amazing shirt. Um, hell yeah. People have already clicked off. If you stay to yeah. the end. Oh, hell. <laughs> Stop. Get we it. forgot to talk <laughs> about. D- dude, we forgot to talk about the forum. Oh, yeah. Wait, put this at the top of the podcast. And buy this merch. Get off of me. Sometimes I just wish. Heroin, dude. <laughs> All right, huh? bye, little, bye, bye. A little BTR, Alyssa, huh? Can you hit the, hit the, BTR, man, the BTH intro button, please? Black Tar Heroin. Bye, guys. Thank you. I can't hear the intro or the outro. I know. Don't unplug the mic, Zach. Holy hell. <laughs> what is your problem?